So here we go. We've got uh, our studio up and running. I want to concatenate some numbers. One, one, and one. And I want to assign it to, to the letter uh, X. I'm not going to do that. I know. X, then Alt underscore, Alt dash, gives me that. And then, bingo. So X has 111 in it. 111. I like that. All right, let's do some work with this concatenation of 111. Let's say X plus, oh, X plus what? X plus 3. Let's see what that gives us. 444. X is, wow. What happened to X? Oh, I didn't reassign it back to X. So if I just say X plus 3, it gives me the calculation, but I didn't assign it back to X, so it's not made permanent. Uh -huh. If I said X and then Alt E, Alt underscore, equals X plus 3. Now what happens? X is now permanently 444. Four, four. I want to go back to where I was. So Alt underscore X minus 3. And X is now back to 111. One, one. There we go. Now let's go to X. What would be X uh, minus uh, 5? Oh, no, I've hit negative numbers now. What would be X well, uh, x uh, plus 5. Back we go. Negative 4 and a 5. Oh, wait a minute. What happened here? Negative 4. Ah, remember, it's not making calculations based on what you see. Here, it's making calculation ba calculations based on what was assigned to X. X has a 1, 1, 1 in it. And when I said X plus 5, it gave me 6, 6, 6. We were thinking X minus 5 is X is now minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, but it's not. It's still 1, 1, 1. This is just doing calculations in memory. Until you reassign it back to the original variable, it's not going to remain permanent. Oh, okay, so everything here is temporary. All right, let's take x. Uh, what is an x? Okay, let's multiply that times 9. x times 9. I should get 999, and I do. How about x raised to the power? Uh, how about x plus 4. x e equals x plus 4. Now, x is 5. I want to take x and raise that to the power of 2. I should get 25, 25, 25, and I do, but it's not reassigned back to x. x is still 5, 5, 5. All right. Hmm. What if I take and x, raise it to the power of 2, and put that within parentheses. That'll give me 25, 25, 25. And then I subtract 5 from that. What would I get? I think I'll get 20, 20, 20. And I do. What do you know? Because it says here's x, 5, 5, 5. Square every one of those values. 25, 25, 25. Take 5 away from every one of those values. 20, 20, 20. Wow. That is truly amazing. And that's about all I want to talk about for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.